Good evening, three cushion fans. We're going to play the second half of the quarterfinal, the second session. We have two winners, Marco Zanetti and Murat Nachi Choklu. We have two matches left, and the one on the feature table, table one, will be the world number one, Dick Jaspers, playing Jeremy Burri, who has just won the leg. And on the other table, Martin Horn will play Typhoon. Tajdimir. I am once again joined by the 2019 world champion Torbjörn Blomdahl. Tell us quickly, Torbjörn, what did you like? How, what did you think of the first session, the match between especially Choklu and Chongbuk Lee? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of <coughs> impressed. The level of play is, is great. Of course, I stay with my my idea about who's going to win this tournament, Marco Zanetti is playing really well. He looks to be in a league of his own, but you saw the strength of, of Murat Naji Choklu, how he turned around the match in the end. Wow. Really strong, making very good and difficult shots. But all in all, the, the level is very high. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm here and not playing. I agree, it was a very good and exciting match and the funny thing was that a couple of innings before the end Murat played a really great line and just came up short in speed, he missed by a, like a millimeter and two innings later Chongbok Lee did the same, mm. creating just a wonderful line and under hitting it by a millimeter. But I think all in all Choklu was a deserving winner so he booked his place in the semi-final and we'll see who will join them. The winners of these two matches will play each other. So Sanetti will play Choklu. No, that will be that is going to be a hell of a match. And yeah. either Jaspers or Buri will play either Horn or Tazdemir. against his normal style he actually executed this shot after 27 seconds normally his execution time is 29 28 29 seconds well it depends on how many seconds you give him if you give him 30 he'll use 29 normally yes if you give him 40 he'll use 38 or 39 yeah think he usually goes down to the shot when he has eight to ten seconds left and he uses the last seconds now it was like 28 this time he's the best best of us to use to really use all the time and very seldom goes too far so keeps really close to the limit one of the things that makes this match extra interesting is that it was the final in 2018 in Cairo the final of the world championship and it was a very exciting final. Like you did in uh, 2015 in Bordeaux, Dick equalized and then won the penalty shootout against Buri. You did it against Dong Kung Kang. I remember that match between these two players. What? It looked, all the time it looked like Buri was going to win it. In the end, Dick squeezed through. Yes, he had to make a great run of four to equalize difficult points. <coughs> so Buri starting off with a three. Jaspers now answering. I must say I have seen I have seen Buri stronger. Has not impressed me that much this tournament. I was watching his last match with, with one eye <laughs> while I was commenting on another match. And he started really, really well, had 18 in three, but you know, couldn't couldn't close the match and yeah, I kind of was looked unhappy with himself and really looks like he's not in not in his best shape. But you know he's a great fighter so those things don't matter that much. 
Whatever is wrong with Buri, it will never be lack of fighting spirit. I think he, for me, it looks like he's exaggerating the the you know the fighting part of the game, and in that process, just forgetting to play billiards. Yeah, the the nice things you know, feel feeling feeling the balls and the shots. It looks looks a little cramped, but <laughs> he's a great player and very dangerous when he finds his form, which. I don't know, I didn't really watch the his averages, but... They were not as good as they were sometimes in the past. He's played a few what? really great tournaments. He won a World Cup in Guri. And here you see a <laughs> great example of how the balls should roll if you want to win against the Kaspers. This is just a shot. He puts the yellow down perfectly in the corner and the red stays just a little bit off set here so <laughs> he can't miss this one <coughs> that wasn't unlucky now you can prepare the next shot just let the red go long short come up so stay somewhere in front of the other two balls Stop. just let the red go out of the cushion a little bit and the next one is a safe safe haven could mention the other table. Martin Hoon still did not finish his first inning. He has 13. Good moment to produce your highest run. Two absolute specialists in position play. Martin Hoon and Typhoon Tajdemir. Break building, the snooker commentators say. Break building. Break building. Maybe we should be using that yeah, term. We, we call it a run when you make a lot of points. Snooker players call it a break. But these guys are no slouches when it comes to high runs. Buri once ran out with a 24. Yeah, that was amazing. He has a pretty good position. He can choose between three and five cushions. He puts a lot of English. Looks like Four. he went for five cushions, but it was a three cushion. <coughs> Horn with 15. And Buri has the initiative in this match. You could say many things about the qualities of Dick Jaspers, but he is almost never a quick starter. He's quite often a quick finisher. Wow, exactly. I have felt that many times. <laughs> sometimes but he sometimes he can be a little bit slow to get into the match. Five. Buri knows, of course, he'll have to do really well to win this match he'll have to play better than he did in some of the previous ones i also think he can he can be a little bit more relaxed i, I said something he looked a little cramped <coughs> against uh, garcia Star started great and yeah couldn't really finish it off so it was it <laughs> became dangerous in the end but against dick jaspers he should be more relaxed and just should go for his points you see him also now here playing Red ball and no safety here, just going for points. Six. Completely correct. Looks, looks much more relaxed. On a run of six, has built up a lead. Nine points to two, but he's still at the table. And I run keeps on scoring. High run of the tournament. I don't know what is the high run of the World Championships. I, I mean think 19. No, I mean this this World Championship. I is think has somebody made a 19 already here? I don't, know, no, I don't know about this, this event's high run. We'll look it up. Martin has 19 in his first inning against Tashtemir, but terrible position, so might end here.
time out for Jeremy Bury. Looks like oh. he's going to play five cushions deep into the corner. Pretty good. Eight. We start commenting on the on the other match now. Martin made fantastic shot, has 20. It's impossible to ignore that match. I know we're watching table one with Buri and Jaspers, and I also know that Buri is on a run. But Horn starting with 20, that's sensational. And now he goes for a one cushion first, and he misses and plays safe. Nice shot by Bury, and now he is in trouble. This is practically impossible. Next shot. How do you want to make this one? Now that red ball is just too far out of the corner for any sort of twice around. You can go over it. You can say it's exactly in the wrong place. In the wrong place. He might be able to play three cushions and miss two short, and then short long and make a five cushion. He makes mm. a miscue. So Five. that's the end of the run, but a good lead for Jeremy Bury. Do you think Dick is worried about this? Dick is usually worried about his own game, not so much about the number of points mm. the opponent has. Did I make any mistakes? That's what he asks himself. After the match, he always says, I made too many mistakes. I made too many mistakes. He's always honest. Very realistic and many times, many times, uh, like we said, he, he doesn't really start like a, like a 100 meter runner. Why but no. if, if you make a lot of points, suddenly he finds his concentration because yes. then he, he knows it's, it's dangerous and you don't see him, you don't see him missing any, any more easy shots than when he has to score. I mean. Super thin. That wasn't super thin, but maybe not. Yeah. Two. How's your, how's your luck? No, not so good. Yeah, he can still play the three cushion. Wow. Don't make a foul here. Is that short enough? It is. Eight. Nice little shot. Now, I would certainly play this rail first off the white, but would I be wrong, Tordun? There might be a five cushion here. If he can escape quickly out of the corner now, uh, maybe not possible. Let's see the balls. Probably I was wrong. Before the red? Yeah, before the red should be possible. Yes. Okay. But he, he didn't, he didn't use all, all the angle he had. No. Missed it short, so the run ends. And Bury's lead is seven points, twelve points to five. Maybe he should have taken your shot, Bert. Your rail first shot. Going to the short chance, of course. Tries to go short. Makes as well. It. It's a pretty good hit on the yellow there, so might have a chance. 
Tick is going to have to play well because Mr. Bury looks ready for this fight. I think it's important that he's not favorite in this match. It's good for his, yes. you know, his his mood. There's three cushion here. Passing above red. No problem whatsoever with the kiss. And he was wondering about being short enough. Three, one. too short. Yeah, white ball goes to the long cushion, so this is going to be very difficult for Dick. But this, exactly this is the qualities of Dick Jaspers. He can make points in these situations. He can sometimes play these up and downs like but it's early in the match, so I don't think he wants to take, take uh, this time out. I think it's up and down. No. No fluke, but maybe safety, fluke safety. Yeah. This is a good, as good as it gets as a fluked safety shot. Has his queuing been better when he was younger? His queuing was always straight. Yes, but not anymore. I, I've seen him miss, miss hit balls like this, which you didn't see him miss hit balls that much. I mean, it's not much, but it's. I think it's a little more than it used to be. Still scoring heavily when he gets positions, but maybe his queuing has suffered a little bit. We know he had an eye operation and after that now he needs glasses, he says, for some things. And he's not the youngest in the circuit. He's a few year years younger than you are, but he is 56. But it never satisfied. Always hungry for more wins. Yeah. You have to admire him for that. Twice around to the short chance. This was, this was a pretty good position. One. Was never going to miss that. And now he has a nice five cushion here. Or four cushion off the red. Full spin and thin, you can leave the red below the white and score on four cushions. Not a big fan of maximum English. Might find another way to avoid the kiss. Thin and full spin will make the red go to the corner. Yes, that's the way. And score directly. Two. So two pretty easy shots here for him to kind of get going. Little worried. Not Dick is, uh, not Dick really is still down. Yeah, he's still complaining about feeling rushed by the 30 yeah. second rule. He feels 40 seconds would be much better for his game. He says, I could play better. Yeah, I think we all can, but maybe he is more sensitive to, to that than some Wait. other players who, like Semi Saigon, for example, Danny Sanchez, they seem to have no problem at all with, uh, with the 30 seconds. They get ready so fast and they calculate the shots really quickly and, and do not look stressed at all. I, I get stressed when I have the wrong positions. But when it's like normal positions, I al uh, already al also don't have any problems. I mean, you and Dick, you manage well enough with 30 seconds, but you feel that your game is not, you know, you don't reach your full potential for a category of shots. No, I, I reach my full potential for 30 seconds. <laughs> because uh, you have to throw away shots sometimes yes. because useless to take a timeout. Those kind of shots are uh, very difficult. You might have a better chance if you have 10 seconds more. You don't have to rush away the shot. The other table, 25-3 after two innings. Horn leading against Tashtemir. 
only 12 and a half average here one of one of the oh, best look shots. At this look at this and he makes it look so easy that was not easy not I even for an up and down crazy percentage he has on those shots he's playing this with a little negative english yeah, but so little that it it's gone if you miss hit it so everything has to be right when so you play good. it like that and he has no luck <coughs> no he, no real shot from the white and here what can you do here he's trying to play short long short with the reverse big speed but it will always fall into the corner does he make it no I think it had very little chance to score. Always short. But he had to shoot. If you shoot faster, Kubo will jump and it will be even shorter. And he made a pretty good effort. He got a little bit lucky, we have to say. He could have left a lot more than he did now. Uh, he didn't leave much with a draw shot here six five four seconds left very good wow past the yellow behind the red we are not going to speculate if he planned that When we were in Lausanne, I checked his eye movement during one match to see how often he checks the clock. Mm. And some of the time he doesn't. He has some I internal clock that works so good that he knows when to hit the ball. Okay. And you see the clock ticking, four seconds, three Wait, seconds, two seconds, and Jeremy shoots. You some of the time he it. does check the clock. But sometimes he doesn't. And he still has that timing to use 27, 28, 29 seconds. It's incredible. Yeah, he's been practicing with a clock. Short, long, long into the white. That also looked a little rushed. Yeah, he had he one second. He was out of time. Maybe he should have should have taken a time out there. This is something that we don't actually don't need to show the TV audience. Players running for the extension because they have no time. Last second. Could be short. It's a little short. Good defense. Can Jasper still draw this one into the short rail to the right side of the white, or is it impossible? I even think it's the only thing he can do. To double the rail. Yeah. He's good at those shots. He has a very strong draw. Too strong this time. No funny kisses. Yes, zero. Gets away with it again a little bit. This is not easy. little flat short angle from red red <coughs> close to the short cushion not easy horns average has had totally collapsed he's only doing 6.25 now played so well oh sorry i'm looking at the wrong table Yeah. 
So Jaspers didn't get a fantastic start in this match, but he managed to stop Buri, who made a lot of points in the first few innings. And he's still within striking distance, only four points the difference. shot but yes, not sir. good enough Zero. playing safe <coughs> but this is not a safety shot we didn't mention Jeremy Bury his his queuing is is also one of the best in our game very straight and he hits the balls almost all the time where he wants so He's this should be easy for the him. table for him just a thin hit off the yellow as he made it long. He's hit it really well, but Zero. no point. That was a surprise. Actually played this one short. That required such a thin hit. Could have hit a little bit more and made it on three cushions or even score scoring from the short cushion. Needs the short cushion here. Only just but it's a point. close to missing that one but he has the point he says sorry he miss hit it uh, he wanted a full hit now navigate the white Three. and the little Jasper's diesel is starting to hum He's making points. <coughs> nice shot, that one. <coughs> he needed to give it a real push to make it long enough. Not a draw shot, just speed. Yes. So we are even 14-14. The little lead by Bury is gone. Jasper's still at the table. And I think it was Bury's last lead. No, that's not so fortunate. The Dutchman is warm. He has warmed up. He needs some innings to get going. And he needs a good shot here. Yeah, I think. Do you think he can escape the kiss? I don't know. It looks like. It looks difficult. It looks like the most horrible angle that you can have. He's going to try. Maximum spin and thin. Will he be long enough? Pretty good try, but he yeah, needed needed to be <coughs> even closer to the kiss. Yeah, and that is of course something that you your body is protesting against. Yes. It. 
difficult to force yourself to go close to a kiss. Except when she's very pretty. I will not go there. Good. Cross table. No. Difficult line for Buri. And things are starting to look a little better for the world number one, who was under a little bit of pressure early on. But he's so used to not having the best of starts. Do you think he can make this one? I'm not sure what he's going to play. The red is really awkward. He's going cross table, cross table. No, doesn't make it. But he has some defense. Yeah, now is the time for Buri to play two cushion first on the yellow. With the red ball where it is now, everything is difficult. There's nothing ever easy he with the ball in that section of the <coughs> table. He has to play two cushion first. Can be difficult for... No, he doesn't. He doesn't? No, this is wrong. Why not the ticky? Uh, maybe if he makes it, he's right. He wanted, no. of course, to land in the short rail, not the long one. But I don't think that was the right decision. No. I... Your shot was much better. Surely you must play two cushion first there because you can hit the ball almost anywhere. You, ju you only have to hit it and you always have the short cushion. Okay, this was a good try, but I don't know if the table condition allows that shot at all. Okay, a little softer maybe. <coughs> but so much more complicated than the real first shot. It'll help from the our fluke. friends. Fluke oh yes. coming up. What? Yes, there's the fluke. And position. Wow. And the smile from the Dutchman. And did the Frenchman smile? I don't think so. He's looking up. Pas de sourire. On the other on the other table, Martin Horn keeping his 20 point lead. 32, 33, 12 even now. Five innings. Guys are crazy. Five innings, 33, 12. And they act like it's normal. going to see a world record. The <laughs> world record is too sharp on 50 points. Yeah, <laughs> Six innings impossible. by Eddie Merckx. That is Crazy. too good. 40 Eight. points, same story. Four innings, yeah. That's, that's also crazy. So if you want to make a world record to 50 points, you need five innings to finish, 10 average. If you want to make a world record in 40 points, you need three innings. How can you finish 40 points in three innings? It's ridiculous. No, I think we're we're through with world records. Well, mm. maybe the 29 will be made. Yeah, but uh, in the innings, I mean. Yes. By the way, what is the world record in a 60-point match? Uh, you have it, uh, my dear friend. 15 innings? Yes. Really? Well. Nobody made better than that? So that's that's the easiest one to beat. But nobody plays to 60 points anymore. Uh, maybe we will. Because now the guys are finishing off the matches here in 14 innings, 16 innings, 19 innings. Maybe we need longer matches soon. Marseille, Marseille here. make it long. He's of course good at every shot, but he's extremely good at these shots. Not a surprise that he makes it. 
I think semi may be the best in the world when it comes to mm. Masse shots. There are some guys. I know. Some of them drifted away to Korea, but... Uh, Jean-Paul de Bruyne is extremely good. At Stanetti, I think he never misses a, a Masse <laughs> shot. You have, you have a couple of guys who are really yeah, good. Really good at it. Yeah. Martin Horn is very good at Masse shots. Oh, look at this. Crazy mistake by Jaspers. How often will you see this? Yeah. Miss Q. He loves, he loves stone hard Q tips, and that costs sometimes. Buri in his chair asking for the balls to be cleaned. Maybe we, we should explain to the viewers and listeners how that can happen. How can you miss Q on a bank shot? So most most players like to play bank shots with lots of English. It's kind of risky to play with little English bank shots. So you use lots of English and when you're looking at the first cushion and, and you're thinking, mm, maybe I'm still a little short, so you give a little extra English, but you're al already aiming full English. So that's when the miscue happens. Shouldn't happen, but I think this is the, the bad process in our brains that causes it. Now the one thing every billiard player does when he miscues is look at his tip and it's almost never the tip's fault, it's almost always the billiard player's fault. Yes, it's in the it's in the in the head. It's not even it's not even a stroking mistake. It's you you're just trying to do something which doesn't exist. I mean more than maximum English doesn't exist. No. That's that's a miscue. Because maximum is maximum. All three balls being cleaned. And now maybe Buri will play a bank shot. Don't think he'll miss Q2. The funniest miscue I ever saw was also by Dick Jaspers on a bank shot in Lausanne. He aimed for a five rail bank shot, miscued and made it off three rails. So that's the second bank shot in a row, and here comes the third. I bet he's not going to miss Q now. These balls are fairly nice. The mm -hmm. distance between them is... Oh, he's aiming with lots of English. Sympathetic. And he's long. long. He is long. Yes, not, a, not exactly a, a weakness of, of his, but I guess there are many top players who have higher percentages on bank shots than he does. So many players are super accurate on bank shots. I think your scoring is uh, up there fairly high. That was easy. And he gives himself another bank shot. It's bank shot time. Yes. But this time the balls are just a little bit closer together. But in a nice line. In a nice line. I think he will expect to make this. Mm. As you said, they are a little bit close to each other. Two and a half seconds left. 
too short, yeah. Three, one. And that could and be expensive because not only does he miss the point, he hands a Christmas gift or a Santa Claus gift. But we have seen this before. This happens yes many yes. times when you miss a miss a bank shot like that. Yes. You go through the ball yeah. and that goes to the corner because you're already in a diagonal line and this is what happens. But it's not a sure point. Red is frozen to the long rail. Still has some work to do. Not the first thin one. He navigates, navigates the white nicely, but he only just makes the point. I think his heart was in his stomach there. Mm, he's had a couple of thin hits. Near misses. Is that a near miss or? Well, he made it so. Almost. It's not a near miss. Uh, it's not a near miss. It's, it's a, a near almost make. miss. Yeah. Yeah. That one is much better. Long, long, short, possibly long again. No. He's in the hole. Yeah, that is one of the easiest holes to hit, isn't it? So difficult to know how to play it on four cushions, how to play it on three, so you just play it down there somewhere and... Totally dependent on speed. Table condition, table everything. Table condition, just a little more English, just a little less English all sorts of ways and like a magnet it is attracted to the hole that cue ball this one also not so simple must be careful with the red that it doesn't hit the yellow and that makes the point what? much more difficult so we have a little six point gap but we have Bury at the table with a good chance. <coughs> he has the balls at his mercy now. Very important where you put the red now. Of course important to make the point. Brings the red back to the center, which is good. Not perfect position, but it should be more than possible. shot with lots of speed I don't think he hit that very well that often happens when you try to go for three or five there you was shoot not hard uh, yeah, not a lot of quality in that shot oh because just cue ball is jumping up in the air so you're, you're not hitting the yellow as full as you want you're hitting on top of it so the draw doesn't work perfectly that's the disadvantage of playing for the double chance there, three and five cushions. I can't yeah. criticize Dick Jasper for how he's holding his cue, but it is pretty rare, the his right hand on the on the back of the cue. Not many players have have the cue in that grip. But you know, Sanetti is has a style of his own. Saigener has a style of his own. Blomdahl has a style of his own. 
there are not many textbook billiard players who look like each other, top players. And here we see Dick Jaspers destroying the boarding. That will cost him dearly. Any trouble with this twice around to the short chance? Will the red be a problem? He's looking at it. Yeah. I really don't know. Very if thin and fast to the if corner. There's no kiss, there's no problem. Yeah. Should be long enough. There was no kiss. But it isn't. But he's yeah, not long he enough. Missed the corner. Yes. Not happy with himself. Not happy with the shot. I'm not even sure if if he could have hit the corner, would the first object ball have been fast enough and out of the way? Well, to be fair, he missed it by. A hair. Yeah, it was very close. Very, very close. Seven-point lead for Jaspers. Very takes a timeout. I think he has to play a red ball short angle here, but yeah, maybe he's worried about the red ball coming back and disturbing. Lifting the butt of the cue. Oh, that's a good oh, shot. That's a great shot. Cue ball jumping so much. How did he do that? I didn't expect him to shoot that hard. Normally you try to keep the speed down on that yes. shot. But he couldn't get under the cue ball. Yeah, he was close to the cushion, so needed speed to, to get the draw action. Wh whatever he did, it was very clever. This could be short, long, long. Plays that very yeah, sure would confidently, but he's left it short. Jumps out of the cushion there. Short reaction. Too much English he put on it. This is a 100% shot for Dick Jaspers. What? Yes, it is. Oof, <laughs> almost missed that one too. Just a little shiver. There you have it. Good referee. Saw it. Then hit right hand English. Shouldn't miss it short. He should not miss it short because that opens up what? everything for his opponent. But first of all, we have a break. Yes, we'll be back in a few minutes with the second half of this match.
Welcome back, three cushion fans. We are returning to the Buri Jaspers match for the second half. Buri has 18, Jaspers has 25 in 14 innings. Toyburn, quickly tell us about the scoreline on the other table between Martin Horn and Typhoon Tajdemir. Yeah, in the other table, on the other table, something rare happened. It was the score was 38 17 for. Horn against Tastimir and Tastimir asked the uh, referee to quickly go to the bathroom so he might have a he might have some stomach problem or something. We don't know. But uh, right now the score is 44-22 after 10 innings. Fantastic Martin play. Horn leading started the game with a 20 and has never looked back. Buri plays the wrong shot here, I guess. Why did he play that shot? Needed a little bit more draw to find the third rail, and he's angry with himself. Uh, do you think? Do you think his his style costs too much energy? That he gets tired towards the end of tournament. It's possible, but he has won tournament. He has won the World Cup. He has won the Verhoeven Open. He's shown that he has stamina. Yes. So I'm not sure. I also don't think it, it, it disturbs him because he has a lot of energy. Yes. He's, he's top fit and, and he, he uses a, a lot of energy in his matches. What, uh, what you're saying, I sometimes have that feeling when I see Palazon play. That he's, you know, out hitting himself. Hitting everything so hard and exhausting himself. But I don't have that feeling with uh, Jeremy. Very nice straight cue action. Always stays down on the shot, never never moves. Perfect example of good stroke. And this was not the easiest of short angles. At least he didn't have to worry about red this time. No way that one could kiss. So he has a seven point gap that he needs to get rid of. Six points now. You feel that he only needs one run here to get back into the game, but 18 in 15 innings, it's not great when you have to win against, when you're trying to win against the Casper. And that is really careless. Yeah, again, again in the last second, he refused to take a time out there, rushing away the shot. And, and criticizing him a little bit, but also the system of these 30 seconds. Is of course. It's no fun. They can maybe use just enough of the red ball to play for position. And now he has That's done something careless. And he gets away with it. This is not easy. <coughs> but he does miss an easy for him, easy shot. Yeah, surprising. Will, will not be happy. <coughs> will Martin Horn book his place in the semi final of the World Championship? Is that the first one for him? I was going to ask you that. Might be. I think it is. Buri missing in the gap there, yeah. but he leaves he leaves Jasper something horrible. He executed in the very last second, in the last part of the last second this time. Look where the yellow is. This needs a hit with Jasper's perfection. Mm -hmm. These are the things that I expect him to make. Not bad. That'll do nicely. Fine. 
They'll be happy with that. We know one player that will sleep well tonight. He's from Germany and his name is Martin Horn. In the 12th inning, he has match point. The Tyson best Pashtunir match so far. Yeah, best match so far is by Michael Zenit, 15 14. So Horn could even better that, improve on it. Fantastic performance by the German player beats Typhoon Tajdemir 50 points to 22 in 12 innings. Superb. What a match. So three, three. of the four semi-finalists are now known. We have Zanetti, Choklu and Horn in the semi-finals. And they will be joined by either Jeremy Bury or Dick Jaspers. Very thin hit again here on a on a pretty easy shot. This may sound strange, Torbjorn, but I do not get the feeling that Jaspers is on top of his form. I have the feeling that he is struggling. Kiss problems here. Four. Well done. He does not look as commanding as he sometimes does. Well, this was a good shot. He judged it perfectly here that he could get away. It's not so much this shot I was talking about. I'm talking about his performance in th these two tournaments, the World Cup and the World Championship. He's had, he's had some great matches and some not so great matches, but yeah, this time he's Pulling Jeremy with him down. Still, he has 29 points in the 17th inning. He is not that bad. But Bury is not scoring. Will this be a bank shot? Three times long cushion? Yes. Or is he going two cushions before the red ball? Ah. Yeah, good try. Nice shot. A little bit too thin on the red. Cost him a timeout. <coughs> Lots of space here behind the red. Jeremy checking the clock this time. This is the shot that you cannot miss with more than five centimeters. But how often do you make it? I think I would be trying for short, long, long mm. to the red, but maybe I'm wrong. Many times you, you go behind the red. He doesn't like it. Oh, timeout, and now again, he five seconds. He's he going might the other get way. Two timeouts on, on one inning. He's going this way. Yeah, he gets a kiss, maybe. No, no kiss. And no point. Really close. Good try. Yes. Still think you should have played the other way, the other side of the white, like the yellow as you suggested I think he may have been afraid of doubling up and down the second ball into the kiss and if he hits it thinner not being able to create the line something he didn't like about that shot yes but zero <coughs> 
this is getting to be a nervy match. Both players uncomfortable. Buri, of course, the, the better defensive player, so it, if it is going to be a battle of safety, a safety duel. But Dick normally shoots himself out of out of those things. Just scores. That's a good, good shot. shot. extra speed on this one so that you don't need to Two. draw this is a good position that worked out nicely for yeah. him great still has to make up his mind here yellow or red both possible red might even have a double chance Three or five cushions of the red should be possible. He's not playing it. He's no. going. He's going for the rounded table. Requires a perfect hit here. Cue ball at the cushion. Normally not a problem for him. Three. No, that's actually not so bad that the yellow is completely frozen. Makes it easier to play rare first. The closer it is to the cushion, the easier the rail first becomes. <coughs> Not really frozen, but close enough. And he's going for rail first, yellow, short, long point, or? Yeah, you don't want to use the short cushion here. Yes, that Just was go directly my question. to the point, escape the kiss. That was my question. Good shot. Yeah. Oh. Played it well. Gets unlucky there. Wow. This is no fun. But I run very of unlucky. A run of four. The yeah, showing. Ten point deficit is starting to disappear. Six points left. Still have the feeling that Dick will suddenly make a big run and finish the match. Uh, jog from the Frenchman wants to hit the shot within time no he's not going to make it there's there is no real shot here i i guess he's not going to make it time out seven cushion bank shot on the backup probably not going to be long enough but <coughs> this draw shot here from the cushion very hard can he make this Too much ball Three. went ball. right through it. So that's a timeout wasted. And look at this. This is an invitation to world number one. In the Netherlands, we say, of je komt eten. An invitation to dinner. Still a little thin on the second object ball, many, many times in the match. He just picked up the point, left position completely to chance. He does that a lot. And he's such a good player, so he has a lot of, lot of points just like that. And many times he gets good positions, but in this match, not really happening. This very thin, short, long, short. That was mm -hmm. a good hit. Super shot. Su great hit. Cool. 
six or seven cushions. Put the white ball in the hole and go twice around. No, he didn't put it in the hole. He played it thin. Oh, I'm very surprised. How yeah, can you get out of the kiss like that thin and be and short enough? Lots of draw. Wow. I've learned something. Yeah, I probably went for the best solution, but I think every everything was difficult in that position. Here comes the up and down, drop in. Mm. Yeah, the referee can say four already, I think. Four. It's just crazy. Crazy how he makes those time and time and time again. Yeah, it's like for him this is easier than the break shot. He occasionally misses a break shot, but this, I don't know. Did he ever miss one? <laughs> <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> a wonderful co position here for a four cushion. Just let it flow. This will find its own way, this ball. Five. And this could be the moment where Jaspers puts distance between himself and the Frenchman. How do you say in German, Vorentscheidung? I'm not German. Well, but you live there, so you should know. Yeah, some words. I don't really feel the exact meaning. But Vorentscheidung, yeah, that should be just... Should be something which is, which is not really decisive, but almost. Let's say if, if he should make a run of 10 here, 39, 23, I don't see Buri coming back from that. Four cushion with full ball, escaping the kiss, a little bit lucky. But a great shot, everything in the middle. And you're right, here it is, the run that we were waiting for. Yes. He's not going to miss this shot. Now he he will bite. Little luck there. That could have kissed. He will bite the table now like a pit bull and not let go. Now he might even start using some timeouts here to be sure that this run goes on. But he didn't. Almost missed it. Seven. Again, a little thin. This is still okay. I think he can play white ball three cushions. It is very close to the cushion, but it's far enough that he can just play full ball with draw. Eight. Nice shot. A little hip movement to make sure the point was made. Now is the time to take a time out, I think. Here you see it. <laughs> this will be cross table. I don't know if he can escape the kiss there. That's if he plays the three long cushions, yes, I yeah. think there's a kiss, but maybe he just drops it in with a little curve, long, long, short. Is he going to play soft? Ooh. He that has a it. very small chance yes. to score. Very just difficult safety. line. So the run stays at eight. Still good. 37-23. Big lead for Dick Jaspers, 14 points ahead. Buri has all the work to do. sarcastic wry smile about his own failure. Now yeah, it was an impossible shot. He was already close to the kiss. If he goes 
long, long. He has a kiss, so just played to played to miss. But he gave very a pretty good position. Is this his last chance? Dick is notorious. He he never uses a lot of English for the last thirteen points, three, four, maybe five. That means Burry has to score. But what is this? This is this is not so easy. He has not been very lucky in this match, Burry. Shoots exactly one tenth of a second before the machine says timeout. That was not going to make. That ball stayed up between the long rails, so even without the kiss, it would not have made. Terrible position and no way to play safe because he got that kiss. Now will Dick go full-blooded attack? Yeah, off the red. He's a positive player. He he plays the correct shots. He will not play white here. You could play white, short, long, long with the safety. I think it's a desperately difficult short, long, long. This is horrible. Yeah, but he's pretty close to the red, so white is white is a big target. Twelve centimeters, twelve point three. He's going. Oh, he goes that way. Prefers that. It's strange. I think the other one is easier, but let's see. Can he make this? That is sure. a one <laughs> wonderful shot. Yeah. That one had a little bit of safety in it. That's right. Which the other one, the other solution did not. So maybe that's why Dick played it like this. Yes, and he got a good, good follow-up here. Five cushions, less English. That was a formality. Yes, but the important thing is what happens now because there was no way he could put white in another spot. It was always going to go down there to the middle of the short cushion. Could have added some speed, but then maybe maybe the kiss would have been dangerous. So so important if he has a shot here, he does. It's a short, long short. And he'll probably make it. Of course. It's it's the end of the match. And it's his favorite shot. He's not going to miss this. Three. Might miss it in the first or second inning when he's a little cold. But no, I don't really believe that. Now he is more or less in the diagonal, which is always bad, bad news. If your if your ball is the middle ball, he doesn't waste a lot of time here. But he has short a long short, short, long short. Yeah, with the extra speed, he's playing safe. It's it's a little strange situation because Burry is not scoring at all, so it's easy for Dick to just say, yes. "Okay, I'll just play some safe and uh, I'll be safe." But I mean, you shouldn't forget to concentrate and try to make the points. Not shouldn't be happy with giving bad positions away. Buri is on 24 in 21 innings, so that's well below his usual standard. But he hasn't had much position. No, so he had, didn't he have He miscued on, on some a bank shot and, yeah. and... Didn't have a lot to work with. Missed an occasional three cushion, but it has been a complicated match for him. And there's a little desperation in yeah. that shot. Doesn't look happy, I understand completely. Dick is not playing well, but still too average and <laughs> leading clearly. But okay, he has almost missed a couple of easy shots, but he made them very thin, which is a little bit unusual. He usually hits more of the second object ball.
Played right. three rails there and looked like it, huh? Didn't do yes. a very good job. Playing safety but leaves a bank shot. Can't believe he was playing four rails back up there. He was I think he was playing three rails. Yeah, four rails he would have not have played with that much English I think, so looked like he was aiming a little more ball. Too long. Good try, but not good enough. And this is a very frustrating match for Jeremy Bury. Things are not going his way. Feel, I feel that he needs a little help from the from the roll of the balls mm -hmm. to to beat the Gaspers, or he needs to play perfectly. And none of those two things has happened today. One. This is nice. And this is the moment where you're in your seat thinking, well, I can make shots like that, but I don't get any like that. I can make these points. Every time I get out of my chair, I'm looking at something horrible. Three cushions now, or five? No, three. Two. That was actually easy. You could see that after the shot. You could just push the white away and come after the white. Now he wants to have a little three cushion here, but I don't think he has it. I think he can sneak it in there behind the red. I don't think so. No. That's not available. So short twice around. Okay. Kiss. Must, must always kiss, I and think. And there's yes. a chance for cool. Buri. If you still want to be in this match, Jeremy Buri, you have to jump on this. Make a few points and defend well. Change the momentum. thing on the red. I think it exists. Maybe, maybe. Should be possible, very slow. Super thin, very slow, the make make the cue ball go straight out of the short cushion. Make the shot a little longer. Excellent. Yeah, he's not happy, but it looks like he has a five cushion. That's just a normal five cushion here, I think. No kisses. Ah, he wants to see the red. Five cushion of the yellow. Put the yellow behind, between red and long cushion. Should be possible. Looks like it from here. Again, just a few seconds left. He's going to use a timeout. Yeah. He's used four. So he has one left for half of his match. He's not playing the five cushion, and I'm, I'm baffled. So he can still see the red. <laughs> Three, two. Oh, now 
he's taking a look at Dick Jaspers, asking, why did he stand up? Let's see how close it was. Pretty close. Now for Martin Horn, this would be a typical four rail, four rail shot. And for Dick Jaspers too. Be disappointed. He thinks he should have made that one, but this Jeremy Burry is, is gone. Burry is gone. He's out of it. Missed that one by 25 centimeters. Yeah, that was a very bad shot, but. I think he got away with it. I don't think the Jaspers will score here. Just one more little run of four or five points and this match is in the bag for the Dutchman. How do you play this? Short long and then the big backup. Yeah. Or like this. <laughs> that, that would have been the fluke yes, of the sir. year. No, he might even have played it like that. Oh, come on. No, he didn't use much English. If you wanted to back up, you use maximum English or at least a lot. Let's ask Dick later. Yeah, we do. What he played. And we'll tell you tomorrow. I think it would have been sensational if he hadn't made it like that. Both shots have little chance of scoring anyway, so... But it will be interesting to see, to hear how he wanted it. What? Good shot from Bury. Does he get a present? Not bad. And Dick will realize that this match is not over. It's 16 points, but you know, a change of momentum. We can make a few little runs. Defend, make a few little runs. 16 point leads don't mean all that much these days. Can be gone in 3 4 innings, but I don't know. Puri is what? not his usual self. Uh, he, had to, he had to draw out of the kiss here. If he plays it much longer, he has a kiss, so you know you have to negotiate that correctly. And looks like he didn't really understand what happened there. Dick complaining about the clock, asking about the timeouts. I think how many do I have? No, I think I think I think some. He asked for having balls cleaned and, and the clock started running so they put it back to 30 seconds as they should yes nervous finger there by the scorekeeper Dick still needs 8 Eight is not a lot if you are building a run with balls in the middle of the table. But eight can be an enormous distance if you are fighting an opponent who is defending well. You can't make eight difficult shots in a row. You need some sort of run of the ball. You need to solve one problem and get rewarded. 
And if you don't, eight points can take eight, ten innings sometimes. Puri needs that run that you're talking about. Yes, he has had some chances and keeps missing. One short, long short he played here two innings ago was very far away. Stick here, long, long short with newly cleaned balls. Nope. Ah, maybe he even went to the short. No, I don't know. I don't think so. I think he went long, long short before the red during during uh, the little break where the referee was was uh, cleaning the balls we had some close-ups of the players and i noticed that uh, exactly these two players and maybe a couple of others too are the worst butterfly <laughs> positioners they are never in the middle and they're notorious about that. I like the word butterfly positioners. That's a beautiful word. That's not even close for Buri. He's Buri. playing defense there. And he has perfect defense. What a horrible shot, but what a wonderful result. Yes. This is a nightmare for Jaspers. What can you do? Rail first into the white, it's what he sometimes does. Not this time, he's jacking up the queue, he's going... No spin here, just cross yeah, table. Cross table, long, long. Don't use uh, too much spin, just... <coughs> just something, yeah. Full just into shoot. the kiss, no Has chance. Now Dick is really good at those here we rail see first Sorry. into the white shots. You see the butterfly positioning here, really difficult to get it worse sorry that's for okay. interrupting no I was just talking about Dick's ability to play rail first into a ball that's in the middle of the table and that was an option he had there but mm. he didn't use it he played that shot in uh, the crystal in not the crystal Kelly come on in the McCreary tournament against Kolomans he had a position like that like this and he played a fantastic long rail first into the white and then cross and then table with short long maximum english yeah. <coughs> fabulous shot ah like that uh, two two long cushions yes ah yeah yeah that's our our normal escape route when we don't know what to do and he's very good at that at that shot yeah he's good at any kind of you know survival shots just shots that you have to play Buri to zero. have a chance to stay at Last the table. He on. scores many times there. Buri misjudging the shortness of that long cushion. Here it looked good. Almost second diamond. Should have a chance to score. He has left the bank shot. Dick. Dick did mm, does not have a very high percentage on bank shots in this match. This one he's playing with reverse English. Curious to see how that works out. Not bad. But no point. And he's still on 42. He has been on 42 for a while. So I think Dick is not completely confident about this match. He's thinking, I still need eight, I still need eight, I still need eight. If this was a soccer match, Dick would take the ball and go to the corner flag. Uh -huh. Try to stay there for yes. a while. Yeah. The ball below his feet. And Buri is pretty good at this shot. No English, long shot long. Mix it. Normally, Buri is very strong at coming back into matches where he's far behind kind of seems to find a new new gear but I don't see this happening here he has been very bleak throughout the whole match of course never really lucky with the roll of the balls which is so 
very very important this one looks good though Two. and he gets a full hit on red he did not want that yeah he's unlucky three balls but in a row never an advantage I've seen I've seen this happen to Marco Zanetti during this tournament he doesn't make a face nothing he just goes there and plays the next shot doesn't want to lose any energy on negative stuff just you know how to play this shot too just concentrate on it get down and make it it's a negative a negative thinking there maybe that made him miss this shot he spent four or five seconds seconds complaining about the position and then I do too. I shouldn't do that. Billiard players all do that from time to time. We love good positions, don't we? Oh, we're so fond of so nice. naturals. Long, long, long for Jaspers. Yeah. Mm. That was yes. always dangerous. Should have probably made the point of three rails, not four. A little bit too much ball there on the white. So many times a kiss comes in when you get that zigzag of four rails and not three. I think this should be a four cushion attempt. Six cushions might be dangerous for Kiss, so this is a good wow. shot. And one more chance for Bury. This is maybe. I don't think it's his last chance because Dick kind of stopped at 42. I was going to say Dick is still at 42, and if we see the score sheet later, he's been on it for quite a while. Yes, he had 14, 20 innings. A period in the middle of the match where he played better and, and raised his average to exactly two. In the 20th inning, he scored his 40th point. And now we are eight innings later and he only has 42. And Buri has a chance to claw his way back into it. Only 11 points the difference now. Can be gone in one or two innings. He doesn't have any timeouts left. Wow, does he know it? Because I, I can't remember where, where the last where his last timeout disappeared. Short? No, it's good. It's in the hole. Oh no. And that'll hurt. Right at that moment when Buri had a Shimmer of a chance to get back into the match. This happens. That was even a good chance because if he makes this, the next one is probably very easy because the red is in perfect spot. And then he's only 10 behind and maybe yeah, 9 behind. So Within striking distance. So Dick finally makes the 43rd point. That'll be a load off his shoulders. Needs seven more. Yeah. Not a good position. It's not so lucky. No, not a good position at all. Closed up here a little with the white. play this way oh nice shot fantastic gutsy courageous he found he found a pea in the middle of the sea 
super difficult shot. And he gets a nice reward here. One short long and with a chance to just let the red roll into a good position. Don't have to, don't have to do anything here. Oops, did he risk the kiss? I didn't really try anything at all there, just made the point and got a good result anyway. It's all about the semi-final now. He will not care about the innings once he's won. If the match is in the bag and his place is booked in the semi-final, he can forget about the 30-something innings. And yes. he's a great recoverer. He can fix himself up, get a good night's sleep and play well tomorrow. I've seen it so many times with Dick when he's struggling playing a bad match and then the next match, my goodness, he's two and a half average, different person. Doesn't like he doesn't like playing bad. Four more points. Here probably there is no shot off the white. Do you think you can make it that long? Digging no. in. Oh, he's thinking about this. Last time out for Dick. No, he has one left. He has saved one for the match point. Now, this is a tough shot off the red. Lifting the butt of the cue. He's a perfect hit. Loads of spin. Too much. Yes. Frozen red. How desperately unlucky. But there is a trick shot here. Ooh, I, I'm not going to say this too loud. Buri might hear it. Mm -hmm. Just cushion first on the red and draw back three cushions. It's a shot often played at trick shot exhibitions. He's going to try the regular way. Thin, mm -hmm. right, right hand English, round the table. Oh, no kiss. Does he and know what the red does? No he kiss. Did. Well done. What? Mm, How's it's your an opening? So there's a chance here. No more timeouts. Nine seconds, oh eight yes. seconds, no. seven seconds. That is balancing on the tight rope. But if anybody can handle time pressure, it's Jeremy Bury. He can hit good shots with one second on the clock. And he can what I what I find so amazing is that he can he can waste on a very easy shot, he can waste all the seconds and when he has six seconds left he goes down and shoots and he plays just as good as when he's practicing so it's amazing you can see the, the yellow so he plays the short angle mm. is this too flat no no it just had a little spin just left and this is good <coughs> it looked very flat but the result is perfect for him So the dynamic of the match has changed. Jaspers hasn't thrown the door into the lock. He's left it ajar, just slightly open. Does not look very relaxed in the chair. And Bury will feel as if he has a second lease on life. Making points again, playing billiards again. Positioned the right, the red ball, brilliantly in the corner. He just needs a way to get there. Now, is there a kiss in this twice around? I think so. He might be forced to play short, long, short. Yeah. 
actually he has to play like that with one and a half second on the clock and this could be short the yellow won't save him was that his last Three, shot four. of this world championship I want Dick to take the time out now so that none of them have, have one left. That would be nice. Two players without a timeout. And t not two of the fastest players in the mm. world. He's going to reverse it around the table. And that looks good. Mm. Very nice shot. What? But not the, no easiest, not the easiest for the next point and he does not want to take the time out here on this difficult shot so has to hurry up needs three more wrong handed he's oh going to play 14 seconds oh th this cushions. needs precision he needs a good hit and can't play too fast <coughs> probably make ah oh he's made it that's just that's Dick Jaspers. Amazing cool. shot. And he just makes it. Perfect hit on the white for, for the next shot. Under enormous pressure. Two more for the world number one. Three or five. Three. Three rails it is. Match point. Match. Yeah. Short, long, short of the red, probably. Even like with his opponent on 35, I think he's going to play defensive speed. Yeah. Made it. <laughs> Dick Jaspers defeats Jeremy Rui, 50 points to 35 in 30 innings. And he books his place in the semifinals. Thank you very much for watching Sharm El Sheikh, Torbjörn Blomdahl. Thank you very much for your expertise. Thank you, and uh, we'll be here tomorrow. It's a joy, as always, to do commentary with you. We have two semifinals tomorrow. Dick Jaspers will play Martin Horn. And Murat Nachi And Murat Nachi Choklu will play Marco Zanetti. Thank you, fans. See you tomorrow.